both of the ponds need a little bit of work. But here's the lot number two right here. Lot number one would be up at the gate. Uh, that house faces the pond right there, the big pond. That pond's about three or four times the size of this pond. That's my house up there and my six acres. I also own the 40 behind us and I'm buying the 10 over here. Um, so we're right in the heart of Dothan. This is right on Fort and I'll send you a pin to where it's at. The water's clear as it can be in this pond. There's a big old frog. Got a pipe and some stone down in there. I'm gonna see if I can see any of the fish. They'll normally come up here whenever they hear me. But you can see right here at the pond. Yep, there's some of them right there. A few brim. I don't know if you can see them or not. Yeah, you can saw a little tail go by. Um, so anyways, that's this lot here. This is the prettiest lot in here in my in my opinion. And then the property line, my property line runs right through the middle of that pond and right through the middle of this pond. So I own everything from here back that way. The intent was for my daughter and her husband to build there, but they've since decided to build somewhere else. So they decided to sell it and to divide it into two lots. This is my son. And then that is one of our dear friends up there. He's a retired captain, nurse practitioner. His wife still works at Lister. So this is the property. I've been able to get mine cut. I was about to start on the front before I had this plumbing issue. So there you go. Hope that helps you at all. That's, um, you know, nice and flat up there where the dirt is. It just needs to be moved, which I intend on doing here pretty soon. But um, pretty well covered in centipede.